What's up, you guys? This is Mary with Life Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a free general collective reading, Cap Suicide, to everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with you. This is daily tea, actually, today. I feel, I've been feeling more guided when I do the daily teas to pre-record them, to pre-record most of my readings, actually, lately. So that's what I'm doing. Um, so this is daily tea pre-recorded. Um, it's supposed to resonate 24 to 72 hours out from the time that you view it. However, everyone's on different time on life paths. So for some of you guys, it can resonate outside the 72-hour time frame. Um, but this one, I don't think will resonate within three days. Um, and you'll understand why when I deliver it. However, everybody's on different time of life paths. You take it how it resonates. Okay, so the channel that I received was, um, I heard a city in the United States that was once deemed one of the safest cities in the United States is about to become one of the most dangerous in criminal activities very soon because of heavy negative karma from the past. That's pretty strong. So you plug it in, however that resonates, if that resonates um, for you, um, hopefully not, but you know, maybe it's a city you know about um, or you, you still reside in or you know somebody that resides in or et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But it's a city that used to be deemed as one of the safest cities in the United States, is what I heard. So it used to be on the, you know, probably the safest cities to reside in the United States or safest, um, best places to live, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, list or what have you. But I heard it's about to become one of the most dangerous cities in the United States soon. So it hasn't happened yet, but because of criminal activity. So it sounds like it used to be deemed as one of the safest or best places to live or what have you because of decreasing criminal activity. But it sounds like it's about to go opposite in the criminal activity. The criminal activity is about to skyrocket, skyrocket. It's about to alarm many, many, many residents. Okay, I heard it's because of negative karma from the past. So I heard um, the criminal activity is about to skyrocket. So it sounds like it was low or low-ish in the past. So much so that people felt safe to live there, travel there, have their children, their families there, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But it sounds like so much has changed, some kind of heavy negative karma from the past that um, it's about to reverse and um, the criminal activity is about to skyrocket. Her is about to alarm many, many residents um, there. So um, you plug it in how it resonates. We have vulnerability on the bottom of the deck. The residents in this city in the past made some horrible choices and now the crime is about to get out of control very quickly. They've tried to make it better recently, but it's not enough. Oh my God, this is terrible. This is terrible. So I heard, um, they have made some kind of poor choices in the past. So I think they participated in some kind of criminal activity or they knowingly allowed some kind of criminal activity or something of that nature. Um, but I heard they made some basically terrible decisions in the past. So, and now their choices from the past has preempted this spike in criminal, spike in criminal wave. Um, it sounds like upcoming spike in criminal wave. Um, and it's about to basically get out of hand is what I'm presuming from these spiritual downloads. So vulnerability, vulnerability in the city, vulnerability with crime. I heard the crime is about to skyrocket, get out of hand kind of energy. Um, this is vulnerability in the crime wave. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. It is about to really, really, really alarm an air sign, many air signs. And fire signs. Okay. 
and water signs. Okay, I heard it's about to really, really alarm many air signs, fire signs, and um, everybody but earth. Air, water, and fire signs. Um, so maybe uh, you, air, water, or fire sign, maybe you are a position high authority, or you um, or you're trying to battle for criminal activity. Um, I don't feel you're in the criminal activity. Um, you might have been in the past, but I don't feel you are now. I didn't hear any of that, but it's about to alarm you. Um, air sign, fire sign, water sign energy. You could have um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or um, Aries, Leo, Sag, Junior, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, and Midhammer, Jupiter. The vulnerability is the spike in the criminal activity very soon, um, and a lot of it. So if you plug it in, how it resonates. This is terrible. Vulnerability again. Experiments of this year have been Blessings. Wealthy people that once stole from un unfortunate people in the past are about to really, really start experiencing criminal waves very soon in their own personal lives. It's about to really alarm them. Oh my God. Whoa, that's not a blessing. Oh my God. You plug it in how it resonates. I heard with wealthy people that really um, that stole in the past from unfortunate people. So people that really didn't have much to be stole from in the first place, but yet they stole from them. Um, and I'm assuming that's probably what made them wealthy in the past or precipitated them to become wealthy. I heard it's about to start. Um, it sounds like I have these criminal people come after them, like uh, latch on to them, opportunistic energy and um, feed off them. Um, and I heard it's going to alarm them. Some of, some of them are going to move locations, but it's not going to help. Okay, I heard some of them are going to move locations, but it's not going to help. So some are going to move locations. Some of these wealthy people are going to move locations uh, to try to, I guess, decrease karma. But I heard it's not going to help. Uh, we have the blessings card that doesn't really fit into that, in my opinion. But you plug it in, how it resonates. But it might be, it well... No, it could be a blessing to the people that were sold from, um, that the people are moving. Um, that's what I'm feeling. Hold on one second. Hello. Hello, can I speak to you now, Regina? This is she. Hi, ma'am. I was just checking on you to see uh, how are you doing today? I'm not interested, sir. Okay. Fine. All right, thank you. Trying to sell me cable. Okay, so um, so yeah, I think it might be blessings to the. I think this is the blessings to the people that were stole from because um, I heard some of these wealthy people basically got rich and wealthy off of the backs of lower class people, or not lower class, but socioeconomically lower class people, um, and made them go up. So if I think, and I heard some of them are about to move. They're about to get scared because of all this criminal activity. But it sounds like the criminals are kind of are coming after the wealthy folks. But I think it might be because they know about their what they did to the people of the lower social economic class of the past. Um, that's exactly what I'm feeling. So blessings to the people of the lower socio economic classes is what I'm feeling. Um, that's what I'm feeling. But you plug it in, how it resonates. A huge crime wave of cyber thieves are about to really, really prey on the people that taught them best in the past. It's about to piss 
these people off in a huge way. Oh my God, that's not a blessing. Okay, I heard he, um, okay, so we've got some cyber thief energy in here, but the cyber thieves that sold, stole, the, it sounds like the cyber thieves that stole from the people, the lower socio socioeconomic people, class people of the past, which you can change your socioeconomic class. You just can't. Um, through hard work, diligence, creative ideas, um, if you don't get stole from, obviously. Um, but um, but you can. You can change your socioeconomic class. You know, working two, three, four, five jobs, um, saving up your money, making good, smart financial decisions. You can change your socioeconomic cl uh, class. But somebody got to a higher socioeconomic class in the past. It sounds like several people through cyber theft and cyber crimes and through um theft of people of lower socioeconomic class but it sounds like some of the people that were taught these cyber crimes in the past by the ones that originally stole from the people in those lower socioeconomic class of the past are now about to prey i.e cyber crime act theft activity off the ones original ones that taught them um so the cycle is about to um cycle onto them is what it sounds like but you plug it in how it resonates spirit messages you have protected wow i think it's going on in this city that once was deemed one of the most safest cities in the um you know i heard it in the united states um or best places to live in the united states etc 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 that's what i'm feeling spirit messages you have protected fire passion you could be a fire sign or dealing with fire sign um you could have aries leo sag you're dealing with aries leo sag in your sun moon rising venus north moon being hammer jupiter charts you plug it in how it resonates passion Someone's about to have lots of passion for exposing the cyber crime, original cyber thieves of the past. They know these people have contributed to the crime level spikes in the past and the upcoming huge crime level spikes. Scorpionic energy, Aquarian energy, Virgo energy, Libra energy, cyber thieves, Gemini energy. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Wow. Capricorn energy, Capricorn energy. Oh my God. Okay, so we've got a lot of cyber thieves, I'll tell you that. Caps, Gemini, Scorpio, Libra, and Caps, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, and uh, Aquarius. Um, Cap, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They could have Cap, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Moon, Midhaven, Jupiter charts. These were the original cyber thieves, is what I heard. Um, but I heard um, somebody's about to have lots of passion and desire, drive, and motivation, basically, to catch their asses. Um, and not only is somebody, it might be you, about to catch their ass, or somebody you're connected to, um, about to have lots of power, passion, desire, drive, and motivation to catch them. You might be a fire sign or just taking on fire sign energy to catch them, how this resonates with you. Um, but not only are you or somebody you're connected to about to come after these ass wives, but the original, the these people, original cyber crime people that I feel either used to reside in a town that was very, very safe and one of the safest cities in the United States, it's blah, 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 or do reside there, how that resonates. Um, how that resonates, but they taught some people doing all these cyber crimes that I'm assuming they got away with it. Um, they most certainly did get away with it, but their ass is about to be caught. Okay, I heard they most certainly did get away with it, but their ass is about to be caught, and I heard ass. So I heard they did get away with it, but they're about to be caught. I think by you, passion, desire, drive, motivation person, whether you're a fire sign or you have fire in your chart or whoever you are. Um, and 
They have taught people down the line with their criminal cyber thieving activities to cyber thieve. And now the, uh, the new cyber thievers that learn from the originals, OGs over here, they're about to come after their ass. And I heard they're about to, um, they're about to beat the soul from, from the newbies that come up learning from them, basically. Ooh. They're about to lose a ton of money. A ton of it. Okay, I heard they're about to lose a ton of money and a ton of it. So these original OG cyber thievers, um, that it sounds like they got away with it in a, for a while in one of the safest places to live in the United States or low crime areas in the United States. But now it's about to be a very, very, very high crime level in the United States. Um, they, they taught some mini-me's and now the mini-me's are about to come out for them. And I think you... High level, high vibing person is about to come after them. Whoever you are over here, uh, whether you're a fire sign or not, I think you're high vibing. I don't think you're a cyber thief. I don't think you're many me that learned from them. Because I feel they've got two people come after them. High vibers, low vibers, little mini me's that learn from the best over here. You plug it in how it resonates. Holy crap. This is so strong. All right. Spirit message you have to put this. Sanctuary reverse. Wake up call on the bottom of the deck. So huge wake up call energy here. I think maybe you live in this city that was one or near the city that once was deemed one of the safest cities in the United States, best places to live, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And maybe now you're seeing the crime level spike or it's about to start spiking because I heard it's about to get very, very, very dangerous. So um, I didn't hear it was going to be one of the most dangerous cities of the United States, but I feel it could be getting there. Um, if somebody doesn't, stop this crime wave that's about to, it sounds like it's about to really really hit hard so definite wake up call energy here um this is whoo this is so terrible In a position of high authority that works in the judicial system is realizing the need to get particular children away from a current parent that's fighting for custody. Huge pedophile and criminal there. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. This person had a huge hand in the cyber criminal activity in the past. And this person that works in the, in the judicial system knows this. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. So you could be the person in the ju judicial system or maybe you know somebody that works in the judicial system, whoever you are, but I'm pulling somebody in, in, in that works in the ju judicial system. I can't speak. That works in the judicial system. Very strong here, whoever you are. But whoever you are, I heard, um, it sounds like somebody's going through a custody battle right now, which that we've been pulling a lot of that in energetic spaces in here recently. A lot of people in the uh, in the um, energetic spaces are going through custody battles. I mean, I'm not the only reader that's been speaking on this. I mean, there's been a lot of readers picking up custody battle energy all across the universe. Um, so, I, I mean, it's very prevalent right now, very prevalent. But however that resonates, I heard... Um, um, you work in the judicial system, either you or somebody you're connected to does, whoever this is. I didn't hear a sign or anything like that. You could be the uh, air sign, a fire sign, or a water sign, possibly, because uh, I was pulling those people in with wake-up call energy in here earlier. Um, but you plug it in how it resonates. But how that resonates, I heard um, you work in the judicial system, and somebody's going through a custody battle right now. So I think you might work on this case or be connected to this case or something of that nature. But how that resonates, um, you um, you uh, know this custody battle is going on right now. It sounds like it's current in the energetic space. It's going on right now. And the children sound like they are with somebody currently in this custody battle, like primary care or custodian or rights or what have you. 
currently with somebody, I heard um, a pedophile and uh, they participated in the criminal cyber theft and cyber criminal activities of the past. That's basically turning the city that was once very safe and best place, one of the best places to raise your kids and family, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, into this criminal hotbed, basically. Um, but, um, but you know this, you know this, whoever you are, and I heard you're about to make some huge changes to help basically resolve it and to get the children away from that um, criminal parent. Um, and I'm assuming put them with the other parent if they deserve to be with the other parent and the other parent deserves it. Or if they don't have an other parent, find them a very safe place to live or reside, how that resonates. But living with a uh, cyber crime, cyber criminal thief, and a pedophile is not a very healthy place for anyone to live, um, reside, just to let everybody know. Um, I'm sure you obviously know this person that works in the ju judicial system, but for everybody else, just to let you know. Um, and that could be the wake-up call energy, too. This person in, in the judicial system is um, maybe having a huge wake-up call if this resonates. So sanctuary reversed. This person is about to be exposed in a huge way. They are undercover gay and run lots of criminal activities behind the scenes. Oh my God, I heard this person is undercover gay and they uh, run lots of criminal activities behind the scenes. Now, I don't discriminate against anyone that's gay. I just want to disclaimer that. I don't discriminate against anyone that's gay. I mean, um, my daughter is um, gay and she's been openly gay for a long time. Um, but, so I'm not gay by any, I'm not gay, but I don't discriminate against people that gay are gay because I love my daughter with all my heart is what I'm trying to say. So, but I heard from the spiritual message, this person is gay. Um, but it, it, just you can be gay and not be a criminal is what I'm trying to say. Um, so take it how it resonates. But I heard they're undercover gay, though. So they're not publicly displaying it out to the world. Um, you know, like my daughter, she's very open to gay. Um, and I always told her to say it loud and proud. Say it loud and proud. You are who you are. Love yourself. And um, don't worry about what anybody else thinks of your sexual orientation. Um, because they should appreciate you for your mind and who you are as a person, you know, and, um, and that's the truth. So, um, I heard they're about to be scared. They're about to be scared because they're about to be exposed. So they're undercover gay. They run some kind of undercover, um, behind the scenes, uh, criminal operation. Um, and they're about to be exposed. So this is scared energy upcoming for this, um, person that's currently custody battling with either the other parent or somebody else or whoever for it sounds like two plus kids um masculine energy masculine energy masculine energy so scared energy and the exposure energy sanctuary reverse is exposure energy of them soon it sounds like it hasn't happened yet and they have participated in some kind of huge cyber criminal activity in the past and they run their own over underground undercover um, criminal enterprise over here. However that resonates, um, that's pretty crazy. So I think the blessings here is um, this person about to be exposed. I mean, maybe it's a blessing for you person in the, in the judicial system to expose this person or blessings that someone's going to expose this person. Um, however that resonates, um, that's huge blessings um, because somebody's city that basically was once deemed a very safe city, wonderful city, and I heard city. So it's not like a little urb, um, little country backwoods place. It is a urbanized city and a cityized area with a lot of people that once many people wanted to probably reside in and go to and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, and live in because it was got so much publicity as being safe and um, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It's basically about to be underrun by cyber thieves and criminals. I don't think all cyber thieves, we're pulling in heavy heavy cyber thief energy in here, but not all cyber thieves is what I'm trying to say. Um, other criminal activity as well, but it's sad. It's sad is what I'm trying to say. All right, let me see if I hear anything else. 
A particular psychic investigator that's really been picking up on this for a long time is about to be re rewarded financially in a huge way for this, exposing them. Oh my God, this, wow. Okay, I heard a particular psychic investigator that's really been picking up on these cyber pre thieves, cyber criminals, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I heard for a long time. Um, is about to be exposed in a huge way for, uh, I meant not exposed, about to be rewarded in a huge way for picking up on them. So whoever the psychic investigator are is, if you are the psychic investigator. Now, I know um, I have a couple psychic investigators that are subs on my channel and they are fellow readers and um, you know who you are. Just saying, just saying. Um, we, I mean, we, um, there's several of us, is what I'm trying to say. There's several psychic investigators out there. Um, I know a, a couple of them started off as subs on my channel many, many, many moons ago, and then they started becoming, uh, got their own channel and started becoming their own business and psychic investigator and doing their own thing. So I personally know several psychic investigators. Um, like I said, some of them started off as subs on my channel many, many, many moons ago because I've had this channel for since March of 2020. So, um, my point is, is um, whoever you are, psychic investigator, I heard you're about to be rewarded financially in a huge way because you're picking up on this uh, criminal cyber thief, cyber criminal activity, and I heard you have been for a while, and you're about to be rewarded in a huge financial way for it, and you should be, absolutely. We don't get enough credit as um, readers and people with spiritual gifts and um, psychic medium and other abilities we don't get it. I don't feel we get enough credit. I truly don't. But um, somebody's about to be rewarded in a beautiful financial way for it. Um, I think your readings have been helping expose these asses, is what I think, or about to help expose them. And that's what, exactly what I think. All right. I love you guys so much. Everybody make wonderful choices, and I'm going to say.